Highlights are brought to you in part by East Georgia Medical Center. Compassionate care without compromise. Coca-Cola, always Coke. And by Rozier Ford in Statesboro, the dealership that does business the right way. Georgia Southern Football with Coach Paul Johnson. Welcome to Georgia Southern Football 2001. I'm Brady Fawcett alongside Eagles head coach Paul Johnson. And Coach, a, uh, an unexpected week off last week. Uh, how how the, how's the team handled things so far? Well, I think we've handled it pretty good. You know, actually, the only day we missed was uh, Saturday, the game day, because we were preparing to play. We thought we were going to play up until Thursday. So, uh, you know, we had a decent practice this week. Uh, I think the attitude's good. You, you never know until you play. I'm anxious. To, to get started and see how we're going to react. Facing Tennessee Chattanooga today, your first Southern Conference game of the year, and uh, it's got to be nice to have that at home also. Well, it is nice to be playing at home. Uh, Chattanooga's a formidable opponent. They throw the ball around very well, and they've got a lot of people returning from a year ago. And, uh, you know, up there a year ago, they, they really got after us for a half. How's the, uh, the the team's health right now? I know we had a couple of guys banged up, but it's probably good to have a week off for them. Well, uh, James McCoy's out when he's not going to drift, so he's definitely not going to play. Charles Clark's going to attempt to play, and Andre Weathers. So uh, defensively, I think we have everybody. Nick Kearns is back uh, healthy again, and you know just the normal bumps and bruises. But we should have everybody but James Coy. Z Walden's out as well. Okay, Coach uh, Tennessee Chattanooga first Southern Conference game of the year here at Paulson Stadium. When we come back, first half highlights, but first, the Coca-Cola play of the day. Greek Cooper on the interception return for the touchdown. Greek Cooper... Welcome back to Georgia Southern Football 2001. I'm Brady Posk alongside Eagles head coach Paul Johnson. And coach, a, a great hot day for the Eagles to, uh, to to get rolling again as the Southern Conference starts. Yeah, it was great to finally be back playing after uh, you know a couple of weeks off. And uh, you know, I thought that we showed some of those effects. Uh, we were a little bit rusty, especially at the start. And we'll pick this up. Your your second possession. It was it was kind of a, a mistake plague drive, and uh, you, you punt the ball. And uh, Jamar Jones comes up with a, a big fumble recovery. Right, uh, our, our punt team did a nice job covering, and they they fumbled the punt, muffed it, and uh, you know that was a big play for us to give us great field position early in the game. Mark Meyer started out the game pretty well. Uh, a, a nice ten-yard run for him. Right, and uh, they were running some uh, little what we call easy stunts out there, and. Uh, we were trying to toss it and get it outside him, and we caught him in a couple of stunts, one easy and one, two, three exchanges out there, and, and Mark had some open uh, ground to run in. Then Adrian Peterson, his first touchdown of the day from two yards out. Right, and uh, a good effort by E.T. to get the thing in the end zone. I'm not sure that we uh, blocked the guy very well. The Mike linebacker kind of scraped over the top, and E.T. kind of cut inside and made him miss. And that put Georgia Southern up 7 to nothing with 4.18 left in the first quarter. Then on UTC's next possession, they would go for it. Another team tried to go for it on a fourth and one, and the defense came up huge again. Hey, a big, big play, and uh, our guys got great, great penetration, and, uh, you know, they took the ball off the line and went deep with it, and uh, we were able to come up with a big stop. Adrian Peterson had a, a tough going early, uh, trying to got a nice nine-yard run, making pretty much something out of nothing. Well, he was making everything he got early was him. I mean, we weren't doing a very good job getting hats on people, and blocking them and sustaining our blocks, and uh, they were doing a nice job defending. Then Myers took off for a big 19-yard run around the uh, around the end again. There again, uh, that's the one in play that uh, on the toss where we had him on a 2-3 exchange again. Second and goal, J.R. Revere dives in for the touchdown, and it's a uh, 14-0 with 11 seconds left, but you, you probably don't feel like your team is really in sync yet, do you? Well, we hadn't put together a drive yet. You know, we had great field position because of the you know, punt they fumbled and they went forward on fourth down. And uh, defensively, we were playing pretty good, but we really hadn't put together a drive offense. That was late in the first quarter to make it 14-0 Georgia Southern. Chattanoogas would drive on their first possession in the second quarter. <laughs> Drink Cooper, there he is again, a huge play, and this was definitely the momentum turner in the game. Well, it really was. They put together a nice drive and, and time-consuming and moved down the field, and uh, 
you know, on third, third goal down there, they tried to throw a little slant, and Dreek came in and picked it off, and uh, was able to take it down the sidelines for a big score. Oh, 5-7 in his cleats. 93 yards later, he's into the end zone. 21 nothing Georgia Southern with 10:39 left in the second quarter. So on the kickoff, uh, Corey Middlebrooks would later come up on uh, Chattanooga's second drive with the second quarter with a uh, nice pressure, and they were called for intentional grounding. That set up some good field position. Right. Corey did a nice job rushing. I thought John Woodham made a nice play on the kickoff. You know, he did a nice job covering it with a big tackle on the, on the kickoff to pin Chattanooga back deep. And, uh, and our defense went out again and uh, held them and, you know, got the ball back to the offense. And probably something they weren't expecting on the first play of the drive from Chattanooga's 44 good field position, JR up top to Carl Kearney for 44 yard touchdown. Right, a little play action, and at times they were firing their corners to stop the option. And on that particular play, they were just playing press man, and Carl did a nice job getting outside the guy, and Jay made a nice play. Not bad for your first career catch to be a touchdown, 44 yards, Georgia Southern 28 nothing, with 8:48 left in the second quarter. Still in the second quarter. Uh, Michael Youngblood, another another good breakup on a third and eight. Yeah, Mike uh, had a good break on the ball. I thought he was going to pick it off. I think he's disappointed he didn't. But uh, you know, Mike's a very heady player and he's usually in the right spot and, and did a nice job breaking up the pass. And then Anthony Williams would start to break loose a little bit here. Uh, a nice punt return, but it was, it was brought back for a, a block in the back. Well, we had far too many you know penalties today, and, and a lot of them came on special teams, and that's disappointing as much as we worked on that stuff. And that's something we're going to have to get cleaned up, or it's going to really hurt us down the road. And then once again, first play of the drive, Jr. puts it up top this time to Derek Owens, 56-yard touchdown. All right, once again play action, and Derek did a nice job beating strong safety deep, and uh, yeah, it was a big play. It was two back-to-back -back one one play drives for touchdowns and uh, those will kind of take the momentum and let you run away. 35 nothing Georgia Southern at that point with 253 left in the second quarter but we're not done after a Chattanooga punt Georgia Southern would take over and Revere a nice pass to Myers for 48 yards down to the 15. Right, uh, you know the uh, once again Mark made a nice catch and Jay made a nice throw to get us down there in uh, in scoring range. And then Adrian Peterson would take over from there, first starting off with a nice 14-yard run. Well, great run, and, uh, you know, we had some good blocks to get him outside, and he kind of was waiting on Bubba Brantley to try to set up his block, and finally got Bubba out there in front of him and was able to break a tackle and uh, get it down to the goal line, and then on the next play, get it in. And then he would take it in for his 100th career touchdown here at Georgia Southern. That counts everything. Regular season playoff, Georgia Southern up 42 to nothing at half, but Adrian Peterson only 35 yards at the half at that point. Well, and uh, it had been a struggle running the ball, but the biggest struggle, the way the game was, we ran 21 plays offensively in the first half. You have two one-play touchdown drives. You have two very short fields for touchdown. And, uh, you know, it was kind of, uh, they had more rushing yardage than we did at half, and we were ahead 42 to nothing. It was kind of a strange game. And the defense still sticking tough, and uh, they were on the field most of the first half. Well, they, you know, when you score on defense and, and you score on offense in one play, the time of possession is, uh, is really going to be skewed. And I was looking uh, at the end of the game, it's amazing that we got it back and actually won the time of possession because we were down about nine minutes in the first half. So when we come back, we'll find out if Adrian Peterson can get his 100 yards against Chattanooga. But first, it's the Ask Coach Johnson question. When we return. Back to Georgia Southern Football 2001. I'm Brady Posk along with Eagles coach Paul Johnson. And this is the Ask Coach Johnson segment of the, uh, of the show. And coach, the, the fans want to ask, actually Cliff Roberts from Statesboro, a large demand for backs in the NFL to run as well as catch the ball. With Adrian Peterson, an NFL prospect, do you plan on utilizing him in the passing game? Well, that's a good question. And certainly Adrian is a, an NFL prospect. I don't think there's any question about that. We don't throw it to the B-back position in our offense a great deal. I think if you'll remember back when we, when Adrian first started playing, we used to throw him a lot of screens and little slips. But, uh, you know, it's no big secret. A lot of people key Adrian Peterson. And uh, right now, to try to throw him a screen pass uh, wouldn't be too smart. You'd have everybody over there. We do have a couple little wrinkles where we send him out in the flat on some play actions. We haven't run them yet. 
But he's got good hands, and he could be a, a he, he can catch the football. It's just kind of not in our system uh, to throw to that guy a lot. But I think the answer might be yes, you do utilize him. I think he threw a touchdown in the passing well, game last year, didn't he? Adrian Peterson is a huge part of our passing offense because so many people try to gear to stop him, just like today, and he opens up the other facets of it. Excellent question and great answer from Coach Johnson. And you can also email us at abc22tv.com and ask Coach a question. And if we use your question, we'll win a limited edition autographed national championship print. When we come back, second half highlights of Georgia Southern versus Chattanooga. Ask the coach and win big. Send in a postcard or register online at abc22tv.com with a question about the Georgia Southern Eagles. Then watch Sundays at 1 with Brady Bosick and Coach Paul Johnson. If your question is selected, you'll win an autographed limited edition print and be in the running to win an autographed Eagles jersey. So register today. Then watch all the action Sundays at 1 on Georgia Southern Football with Coach Paul Johnson on ABC 22. to get out there and play you know we got a lot of guys who are going to step in to play for us so we're not really upset about that you take what they give you and uh you know they were they were determined to stop the options i mean we can pass the ball if we really want to but we got good enough receivers with my athletes at that position you know, i don't know i just come out here and try to play every game as hard as i can or whatever and make plays or whatever I'm to make a play, I'm trying to make a play. John felt like, you know, well, let's try to lose him up and throw the ball. He was just, just wide open. We've been doing a good job. Everybody's proud of us, you know. We're proud of ourselves, and we're just going to keep getting better. That's, that's our main goal is to get better every week. <laughs> Welcome back to Georgia Southern Football 2001. I think, Coach, everyone who was at this game today and saw Adrian Peterson the first half was crossing their fingers, wondering if you're going to leave him in long enough to get his 100 yards. Well, we talked about at halftime, those guys playing the third quarter because we'd only played 21 snaps offensively, and after a week off, I didn't want to take everybody out with only 21 snaps, and, and we weren't playing very well offensively. So uh, I decided that we were going to let them play the third quarter to, and, uh, and run the offense, and we came out. We had a nice drive, uh, you know, drove the ball down the field and got down there and had another penalty. Couldn't overcome that. Then we go in and miss a field goal. Uh, you know, the concentration level, I thought that was a prime example. Uh, you know, we go in to kick a field goal and the holder comes out of the game. I mean, his mind's just somewhere else. But once again, the, after that, the, the defense steps up huge on, on Chattanooga's first possession with uh, Victor Cabral. With the, uh, right. Well, our defense played pretty consistent all day. And, uh, you know, after that, we go back and we hold them. And uh, lo and behold, uh, we return the punt for a touchdown. Anthony Williams, his uh, first one this year, a 74-yarder for a touchdown. And that was the, the first punt return since the 99 championship game. That put Georgia starting up 49 to nothing with 923 left in the second quarter. And... Uh, and he's starting to look better as the year goes on. Well, Ant can be a really good punt return if he'll catch the thing and go up the field and quit trying to run sideways with it. And uh, when he does that, he has a lot of success. But uh, he's very talented. After another three and out by the defense, the Eagles get the ball back. And Adrian Peterson, looking, it looks like you're just going to go to him and, and say, if you're going to get your yards, you're going to get your yards. And on a fourth and one, he, he broke loose. Well, I told our offensive line, and we told everybody that you know the third quarter was going to be it. And uh, so uh, we, we come out there. We run three plays. We got a fourth and one. I'm looking at the clock. There's about five minutes to go, I think, in the quarter. And I'm thinking, well, if we punt this ball, they're, they're not going to play anymore. You know, it's 49 to nothing or whatever the score was. We'll go for it. We ran an option. They didn't take him. We handed it to him, and he takes it 56 yards. And that gave him 118 yards rushing to that point. But he wasn't done. He had two touchdowns already. This one took it out from four yards for his third touchdown of the game. Well, once again, just a hard nose run by him. We did a nice job finally on the option. They popped the linebacker, and the guard blocked down and sealed him. The tackle sealed the defensive tackle, and you know he kind of went scot-free in, in the end zone. And he wanted those yards today, you could tell. Well, he was working hard for him, and you know it was like uh, you're, you're really torn on what to do because you're up 49 to nothing. But in my mind, that kid has done so much for for me personally and our football program that uh, that wasn't a hard decision. I mean, 
I wasn't going to leave him in the game in the fourth quarter. If he don't get it, he don't get it. But uh, to, to give him a chance in the third quarter, and, and it's not like he carried the ball 40 times. He had 18 carries. And that put Georgia starting up 56 to nothing with still 5-12 left in the third quarter. Another another three and out from the defense, and then it's the offense again. It's on Jesse McMillan, some uh, some backups getting some time. He had a nice 17-yard run there. Right, and Chaz Williams came in and did a nice job uh, running the offense, I thought. And, uh, you know, those guys actually might execute a little better than the first bunch did. Then Chaz Williams took off for 59 yards on his first career touchdown run to put the Eagles up 63 to nothing still with 27 seconds run. left in the third. Well, Chaz has got great speed, and I think as he gets more comfortable, people are really going to be excited to watch him play. Finally, Chattanooga would get on the board late in the third quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter, a uh, Joey Peters touchdown. One of the few touchdowns allowed by the defense this year. Right. Well, it, and they ran a nice little route with kind of a, a you know fake slant into a fade, and our guy was watching the quarterback instead of his guy and, and got beat. And then uh, Melvin Cox would come in, throw a couple nice passes. And then later on, uh, Hunter would come in. He would fumble a snap, but Jonathan Woodham, a quarterback who came here as a quarterback, and uh, he had a nice interception return for a touchdown there at the end to, to finish off the score and to make it 70-7. to Well, he did, and we were trying to we, – we got everybody in the game that had any eligibility, and, you know, we were having to move people around, and we were down – to our third center, and we were trying to shuffle quarterbacks so everybody could play. And that's, uh, you know, disappointing that we'd fumble two snaps down there and lose them both. Uh, but Jonathan made a nice play and, and a good return down the sideline. And, he, you know, I was torn watching him run. For him, you want to see him go, but the way the game was, I was almost hoping somebody would tackle him. That finishes the scoring at 70-7. to Georgia Southern goes on to win. 3-0 and overall and 1-0 and in the conference. The 1-0, uh, the I guess, is pretty much bigger than the 3-0 right now. Well, they're both big in my mind. And, uh, you know, we, we've got a lot to work on, a lot to get to try to, to get better. But uh, right now, we're as good as we can be. And we'll go back. And it's just as easy to work on your mistakes, uh, probably easier when you win, than it is to go back with a long face after losing the game. All right, Coach, another great win today. And when we come back, we'll talk about next week's game against BMI, the first road game of the year when we come back on Georgia Southern Football 2001. Welcome back to Georgia Southern Football 2001 and Coach Johnson next week, the first road game of the year, also the first Southern Conference road game of the year against BMI. Right, and... Uh... You know, just a couple years ago up there, we really struggled, and uh, it's a long trip. We end up leaving on Thursday. It's uh, one of the longest bus rides I've ever taken, but, uh, you know, they'll, uh, they always play better at home than they do on the road, and uh, I'm, they're struggling a little bit again this year. They've lost some people to injuries, but uh, Coach McCombs will have them ready to play, and they'll do a, a good job, and my, my take is not who we're playing. We've got to get better as a football team, and I'm going to be anxious to see our guys in practice this week and see how hard we work on improving ourselves and getting better because it's not about who you play. It's about maximizing what you can do as a football team and playing as good as you can play. And the, the short practice week, how, how does that change your, your preparation for next week? Well, it really won't be a short practice because we won't leave until after practice on Thursday night, so it'll be the same amount of practice. Uh, we're back in a regular schedule, which, thank goodness, I'm looking forward to. I'm kind of a creature of habit. And I like to get in my schedule, but... Uh, you know, it's uh, always tough when you go on the road in, in, our, in our conference, and next week uh, I imagine will be the same thing. Coach, 70 points on the board. You, you might not be as happy as you went with the offense, but a, a total team effort. Win total tonight. team effort. We got great contributions out of the defense and special teams and the offense. And when you can win a conference game uh, like that, you have to be happy. Here we go for win number two in the conference next week at VMI. Join us next Sunday on Georgia Southern Football 2001. <laughs> Southern Football with Coach Paul Johnson. This week's highlights are brought to you in part by East Georgia Medical Center. Compassionate care without compromise. Coca-Cola, always Coke. And by Rozier Ford in Statesboro, the dealership that does business the right way. Georgia Southern Football with Coach Paul Johnson.